and welcome to this tutorial on how to use the filter option for the search and process actions. Um, if you have seen the other getting started tutorials you will know how to follow, how to like, how to retweet and you might have noticed the filter button here. On a follow action we have a user filter. Um, we can specify we only want to follow users that have a minimum of 50 followers and have a maximum of 1000. Um, all the other options should be pretty much self-explanatory. I don't think I should have to go through them. Number of followings, how many statuses, they, how many tweets they have posted, days since their last tweet, um, should all make sense. Ratio of followers to followings, um, it's a bit more complicated so there's an info link here which should load into a browser. Oh, that's just off screen. I'll paste it here. It would load the information here. Um, so basically, it is a way to get a ratio. Your followers are divided by your followings to make sure they are roughly equal. Um, if an account has 10,000 followers and only 10 followings, um, would have a that looks wrong. It would have a ratio of a thousand. Um, if you have a thousand followers and eight hundred followings, you would have a ratio of one point two five. And if you have the same, you would have a ratio of one. So a hundred followers, a hundred followings. And if you have more followings and followers, it would be a less than one ratio. Um, the idea is that you probably don't want to waste your time following anyone with a big ratio who has more followers than followings, meaning they're probably a major account and they are never going to notice you following them. So you probably want to stick to around um, a ratio of maybe one one to two or you know 0.5 to two um, should you want to use it um, again we have an activity ratio again there is an info link that will explain it all for you um, so yeah there's info there that explains it all so I won't go into that now you can read through the forum post on it and post questions there if you have any questions about it. Um, days since last active, it's similar to last tweet, days since last active will use the last tweet date but it will also look for the last um, like and a few other metrics that Twitter provides that have a date property. Um, and we can ignore if they have a default avatar, ignore if they're following you already, um, ignore verified, only verified, um, include words meaning we will only follow this account if their username or bio includes these words and vice versa we can do the same but ignore. Um, let's set a few of these. Yeah, so that's how we'd set the filter. Now that's set in action. We say we want 50. Um, and for like, um, as it's a tweet action, the filter will be on the tweet. So we can have number of likes, um, number of retweets, number of replies, days since active, so on and so forth. We don't want to reply to, we don't want to like a tweet with too many likes already. And set a few of them. And if you wanted to set a user filter for the tweet, you can click user filter and make sure that we don't like a tweet if the user doesn't meet our filter either. Save that. Now we'll go to the processing tab where it should be running. I'll just start that one running as well. So 
so you can see it's going through the filter right we ignored that user because they had the wrong followers they had 32 followers and we wanted more than 50 um, or ignore if less than 50 and ignore if more than a thousand um, here's one we processed before let's run through it's getting the next page here's checking the filter that processed let's jump over to the like there we go, it's his filter allowed, running through, checking the property. Oh, we've got one of likes here, had a value of 70. We only wanted to like a tweet with less than 10, so ignore number of likes. Yeah, so that's how we can run a filter. When the filter has found the requested number of items, it would start processing. Um, one other quick thing the user filter female and male now Twitter doesn't tell us if the account is male or female what the program can try and do is it will scrape the user details of the profile and check the real name property if the user has entered their real name John Smith we can split the real name on the space and get first name John second name Smith and then try to map the first word John to a known list of male or female names the program comes with a list of English language names so if you are wanting to filter on male and female um, English language names that will work straight away Here's a customizable file, so if you're from another country and have a list of popular male and female names, you can update the file in the app so the program will automatically use your own language's um, popular names. But it's not perfect if the user hasn't entered their real name or if they've entered it with emojis or custom text or it has a dual sex name such as I don't know Sam or Lee or a name which both genders may use then it's not going to work properly um, but that's the best we can do so it, if it's really important you can build the list of male female names to improve how well this filter will work and the option here is to fail the filter if it can't determine the gender of the name let's say um, a name comes up which is unusual which the program doesn't have in the male file or the female file um, if you check this then you will fail automatically uncheck it and the name will be included in your results set to process um, again if you need any um, advice on filtering or you would like to ask a question do come to the forum at rootjazz.com slash forum ask any questions you may have and we'll be happy to answer all, all of them for you. Thanks for watching and hope you found this tutorial useful.